Hi, I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Joe Sullivan, a man who cherishes those autumn and winter Sunday afternoons. So let's talk a little football. Let's talk a little Chad Ocho Cinco. Did not play in the first exhibition game. Exhibition, I say. Uh, got two catches in the second game and none last week. And he seems to be uh, stumbling around a bit lost out there. Are you or should they be concerned about Chad Ocho Cinco? Well, a little bit, I would say, Bob. Yeah, a little bit. But, but not a lot. Because, look, this is a talented receiver, one of the most talented receivers in the NFL. And he's with Brady, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And we've seen this before. Uh, receivers come in here, and suddenly they're better than they were with their other teams. Why would it be any different, Bob? I, I'm not particularly worried, but, uh, you know, people, because he's such a Cinco and because he has this other life, once the game, once the day, the football day is over, he's tweeting and he's doing this and he's doing that, and people think he should be burying his nose in the playbook, you know, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the problem, or going, looking at the films, or, you know, or, or whatever, uh, I, I, I think this is the problem, but people assume that he's not conscientious. The fact of the matter is, when it comes to his job, he's very conscious. Yeah, that's always been his reputation in in the locker room. Even though he's a jokester, yeah. he's someone who's serious on the field. And I, and of course, the Patriots, we can't we can't believe what they say, quite honestly. No. But but they but what we have heard is that this is a serious student of football on on the practice field with the Something Patriots. Something has been made of the fact that he didn't catch a ball in the in the um, uh, Lions game when he jumped when he didn't have to jump and it was a very catchable ball and he just you know I mean are we kind of hang our hat on that. No, no. No. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with his hands. But uh, people look, you know, it's, it's a world of intrusive gratification. You know that. People want to be reassured uh, that, that uh, this, this was a worthy investment. First of all, he is cost effective, right? Yeah. It's not, you know, it's cost effective. And, and um, I, I, I think he does have a sincere love of the game. And I do think he has a sincere desire to prove himself here. And, and, and I wouldn't worry about it. Let, let's just say this. Let's have this conversation one month from today. And then we'll see what we're talking about.